Welcome back to my channel. This is my fourth beekeeping update video. If you remember my last beekeeping update video, you'd remember that I had a massive beetle invasion which decimated most of my hive. Now, I was able to save some of this uh, colony that got attacked by the beetles, but unfortunately, they were really weak and I went to camp for a week I filled the sugar water that they were relying on since they had no honey to the top of the feeder. But unfortunately some ants got in and they were pretty much sharing the sugar water between them and the ants. And between the ants and the bees, they ran out pretty quick while I was still at camp. And I guess they maybe got dehydrated and left. Here's some of that footage I got from a few weeks ago of the abandoned hive. As you can see from that video, the hive was pretty much abandoned. There were two or three bees left in the hive at that time. There were some dead bees that looked like they were about to emerge from the comb, but they like died mid-emergence. So that was kind of interesting. But it was kind of disappointing to see that all my bees left. It almost made me wish I didn't go to camp, but Camp was really fun, so I guess that's th that was a good trade-off. But I'm still disappointed that I lost all my bees, so I decided I'm going to get some new bees. But this time, rather than purchasing bees from a beekeeping store like I did with these previous bees, I actually captured new bees from a swarm that was in someone's house. You know, this is a finite planet. Right. You got it out, right? Yeah, I got it. So, how how was that? It was cool. That was something different you haven't done before. <laughs> yeah. But you you ever watch uh, Rick and Morty? I watched a little bit of it. That's my favorite cartoon. I am Rick Sanchez. <laughs> I'm, I'm Pickle Rick. I've got Pickle Rick shirt, I've got Rick and Morty t-shirts, Rick and Morty socks, I've got a Rick and Morty COVID mask. <laughs> I've got a portal gun. Here they are now. These are the same bees from the video you just saw of me on the ladder taking the comb out of the house and putting it on the frames. Then I just put the frames in my nuke. Then I was able to take the hive back here and put it in my hive box. And I also have found the queen. We put the queen in a queen clip. She's in the clip in the hive right now and I'm about to release her into the hive. So the reason why I kept her in the clip in the hive for a while is because I heard that you want her to stay in the hive for a day until so that she kind of gets used to the new location. Because if you just put her in with the rest of the bees, free will, then she could leave and then the rest of the bees would follow. So I made sure she stayed in the hive for a while by putting her in the queen clip in the hive. And today I'm going to release her into the hive with the rest of the bees. Hopefully she doesn't leave. I have my bee suit on now. I have my smoker ready. I'm gonna smoke the bees and then I'm gonna get into the hive. Then I'm going to take the queen out of the queen clip. Okay, need some smoke in there. I'm gonna open the hive up. And then I'm gonna smoke the inside.
Here are my new bees. I was worried that the, the uh, beekeeper who I was doing the removal with told me that they could have been Africanized, but these ones are pretty calm, so I don't think I had to worry. I have to worry about that. They didn't even sting me during the removal. I'm gonna put some smoke across the top. Okay. Now I'm gonna get the queen out of the queen clip. See if she's still in there. I might have to turn the camera off to do it two-handed. Oh yeah, I still see her in the queen clip. I'm not sure if you can see her with the bees, but she's in there. I'm gonna go ahead and release her now. I finally got the clip off of the uh, off of the frame that the queen was on. You can see there's a bunch of workers in there. You see if I could spot her in the here. Oh, I see her. It's kind of hard to see her because there's. Uh, there's other worker bees in here. Hmm. Up oh, there she is. Right at the top right corner. Top right corner about that area. Yeah, she's about at that. I'm not sure if you get. Sorry about the abrupt finish to the video but my phone got overheated earlier, so that's why it just kind of shut off. But I was able to get the queen into the hive. I just opened up the uh, clip, you can see the clip right there. Then she just kind of crawled out and crawled right onto the frames. So that's good. I'll give you more updates on this new hive. It looks like they're doing pretty good. You can see a lot of them on the front. And I'll continue giving you new updates on my bees along with other videos. I have a few I ideas for upcoming videos that I think you'll like, so stay tuned for those. I'll see you in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.